can't tell you how heavy this is. I can't believe I got this in my suitcase. This is actually really gross. <laughs> the kids menu that has bits of crusty food on still. The little note that says for an amazing cast member on it. Lots of Nikki stickers. <laughs> As you can see, I'm, I'm a total hoarder. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash a huge thumbs up. Today I thought I would share with you all all of my memories from the Disney CRP, basically everything that I kept, everything that I brought home with me, basically my, my memory box from my CRP. I have a lot of stuff. I'm basically like a mini hoarder and yeah, I thought it would be nice to share with you everything that I collected. When I say I have a lot of stuff, this is just <laughs> one of the boxes. I have this one, this. And this. I can't tell you how heavy this is. I can't believe I got this in my suitcase. So like, the first thing I'm going to show you is actually this little folder. So this basically was my folder that I had leading up to the program where I organized everything. If I open it up, it's got like my flight information. It's got my, this is basically my offer for the program. My arrival itinerary, my visa, dorms, basically everything I needed for when I got there. Oh, it's got some cute memories from when I went to Philadelphia. Oh my god. This is so cute. So I've got a lot of random stuff from Philadelphia. Obviously those Polaroids. I've got my flight ticket. The cutest little postcard. Oh my god, I remember buying this. I absolutely love this. So a lot of the stuff from in this folder I think is actually from when I went on trips. I've got a map for Disneyland in California, food and wine little festival. That one's from California food and wine. I've got Disneyland tickets. I've got a gazillion fast passes, paper fast passes and honestly I feel like I prefer the paper fast passes so much. Me and Daniel absolutely lived for getting the paper fast passes. Also in here, I have a little note from my mum that she actually snuck in my suitcase and just some pictures that she'd printed out. And I actually had a lot of these up in my apartment. So the next bit is Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Squeak. So this was basically something they did in Epcot where you had to go around and in each country in the World Showcase, you had to work out where Remy was and what vegetable he was with. This was in 2018 and they did a different like treasure hunt thing for every festival in Epcot and I tried to do all of them. Epcot Festival of the Holidays booklet and then the Epcot Food and Wine booklet as well. Lots of Mickey stickers. <laughs> How do I have so many? As you can see, I'm, I'm a total hoarder. At the back of my folder, I have a lovely picture of my dog. On the outside of the folder, I basically wanted to get a sticker from everywhere that I visited. So I've got DC, this is from Philadelphia because of Rocky. Philadelphia, New York, a cast member sticker, California, Cancun in Mexico, um, and then I've just got a few random ones, so the Ron John Surf Shop. This is like a sticker that a random guest gave me, a little boy gave it to me. Um, Alexander Hamilton, $10 bill, and just a random Star Wars one that I have. So that concludes everything that I have in here. Next I'm gonna go for this wee bag here, which has basically got all of my pictures. In. Obviously I'm not going to show you all of my pins because I have quite a few but I will show you some of my favourites. This pin I'm actually really lucky to own because it's basically a Rose and Crown pin. I believe it's the only Rose and Crown pin to exist and it came from like a United Kingdom pack I think but I basically pin traded for it. So yeah I'm very lucky to have that and I will hold on to that forever. <laughs> So this one is one for Mickey's 90th birthday. This one was a, an exclusive for Disney cast members, so I knew I had to get that. And I believe I have the matching lanyard, wherever that is. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is this 
fancy little box here. This I actually bought from Disney World. Um, it actually has the Disneyland Paris Castle on, which I find really strange. I got it from Cast Connections, which is a cast member exclusive shop where you basically get things really discounted because they're like a little bit broken. I don't know whether it's because it's a little bit squished at the bottom. I don't know, but this was perfect for me to keep things in basically. So the first thing is a little note that says for an amazing cast member on it. one is another little note it just says thank you for making magic feel real like a little this is a little note that says thank you for all you do and sharing the magic from the gardeners this was attached to a bag of Percy pigs actually lovely gardeners had left for me at the Rose and Crown so thank you what a lot of tickets in here. Got more stickers, shocker. <laughs> I've got some telecasts in here. Telecasts are basically like a little information booklet that you can pick up just so you know like when the times are and stuff in the park. I have this really cool pin actually and it just says in commemoration of the coronation of Her Majesty Queen Elsa Arundel Castle. I got this when I went to go see Frozen on Broadway and basically the cast member that served me was so nice and he just, he gave it to me. It was like a nice little magical moment and I'm, oh, I literally love it so much and I've kept it in the packaging because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> oh, I kept the special edition New Year's Eve telecast. That's so cool, I'm glad I kept that. Oh my God, I've got messages from my friends. Oh my God. A little booklet from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Oh my God. Oh, I've got the um, limited edition Animal Kingdom map for the 20th anniversary. I remember I wasn't there for the 20th anniversary, like the actual date, but I was there for the year. And Animal Kingdom actually opened the same year that I was born. So when I got this, I was also 20 years old. So Daniel gave me that, which is very kind of him. I've got a lot of buttons in here. I've got one that says family reunion on from when my parents came to visit. This is actually really gross. <laughs> I have kept a kid's menu that has bits of crusty food on still because they'd written thank you on it. <laughs> and no, I'm still not gonna throw this out. You basically get one of these when you start your training and you just put it under your name tag. Whoa. I've got my Epcot passport. I bought this where you can go around the world showcase and as well as the Duffy bag, you can pay for this and fill it all in. And it's really cute because they draw things in it from each country. Um, I'm so glad that I did this. It was just, yeah, I definitely recommend it. Definitely for kids. Wow, I kept so much star. <laughs> More crusty menus. <laughs> This is from my training day when I had culinary day, basically telling me where I'm gonna be each day. And it was actually my birthday that day, so it says happy birthday on it. <laughs> there is another pin here. It's a pin trading pin from Traditions. I basically won this at Traditions. They do a lot of trivia and I answered one of the questions. So yeah, I got that, which is really, really cute. I love having limited edition stuff. Like I'm such a sucker for that. <laughs> oh. As well as old menus. I have old napkins. You know, I wish I could say I have a problem, but I don't regret this in the slightest. Oh, I've got my program client. I didn't even realize that I still had this. Oh my god. Ellie Brown, Chatham Square. In the bottom, I just have a leaflet from when we went to the Mickey Mouse exhibition in New York the map leaflet thing from Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party and my playbill from when we went to go see Frozen on Broadway. That pretty much concludes everything I have in this box that I feel like you guys would be interested in seeing. And then the final thing is this ugh, monster box which has actually fallen apart. So note to self, Ellie, when you next go to Ikea, buy yourself a nice white box. Right on the top, first thing is my name tag. Um, next thing is my Disney Traditions booklet. You obviously get this at Traditions and you make notes in it and it's just got all like the basics of stuff that you need to know. 
for working for Disney. The next thing is this cute little Mickey Mouse purse that Daniel got me for Christmas. But this was basically my purse that I used on the program. It's just got like tickets in, my Sephora, my Universal Annual Pass, my Chinese, like, what's it called? Like when you collect all the stick, the um, tokens. <laughs> um, so this is basically a flag that my parents bought me that I had up in my apartment and I kept saying when I leave I want to get everybody to sign it and I eventually did. I don't know if you can see the extent. I was basically known for always flying the Union Jack so I was like the best thing for me to do when I leave is to get everyone to sign a Union Jack and I'm so glad that I did because it's the most amazing way to remember everyone. If you're doing a program, I definitely recommend having something that everyone can sign and write like little messages to you on it because I love that. Oh, I've got my social security number. <laughs> got a nice magic band. It's a good job I didn't go to Florida. I've probably been looking for this. I've got <laughs> my blue ID. This is what I would wear backstage and to get into work and get my discount and then I've got my main gate as well, this is what I would use to get into the park. It's on my Disney lanyard, which is currently my bell. I do have quite a few, so I hope they're all in here. I've got my Duffy Bear when I was talking about the Passport Around the World Showcase. This is the other option. This one is free, and they basically do all the stamps from all the countries and do a little, little picture. And as you can see, I attempted to do my Duffy Bear in the Rose and Crown costume. <laughs> This one is my Universal Studios annual pass lanyard, so I would have had my annual pass hanging on the bottom of this one. I have another name tag, I actually have Daniel's name tag, which is so random. Why do I have this? This is my check pad. So this is what I would have used to take my orders whilst I was at work. Um, we always customize them. We put our own little pins on and I've got a little pen in here, which is actually a really cute bell pen. When I open it up, obviously when I was taking orders, this is what the guests would see and this is what I would see. And I've got like a little Beauty and the Beast sticker. This is my notepad, which is hilarious because it's still got all the stuff on it from when I last did my last shift. And then on the other side, I've just got any receipts that I might need. I've got some coloring sheets that little kids have done for me. An allergy sheet. <laughs> oh, I've got some princess stickers in here. And I've got a list of spirits, which has actually, I think, gone wet. And it's just got like all the vodka and stuff on it. I've got some cast compliments. These are basically what you get when a guest tweets about you or posts something about you on social media. So I'm so glad I kept those. It's literally the nicest thing ever to receive those. A lot of like good luck cards in here. Oh, I've got another lanyard. This one is the Chatham Square one. I literally got this for like 50 cents. Oh, I forgot I had this. It's a cast member magnet, so you can either put it on the fridge or on your car. Maybe I should put it on my car. Oh, another thing that I got for really cheap is this Chatham Square luggage tag. It literally matches the other one. They have like all different characters for each different apartment complex. So I literally bought this one. I'm pretty sure it was like a dollar. <laughs> I have another magic band. I can guarantee I was gonna be looking for all of these. <laughs> got my Disney internships and programs luggage tag. Got my Disney internships lanyard and like little Velcro thing. <laughs> my phone's vibrating because I have so much stuff on my bed. I literally, I don't even know where it is. I've got, I want to say my money pouch, but it's actually Daniel's money pouch. Um, this is basically where I keep all of my cash during my shifts. I've got this cute little royal invitation. This is from when me and Gabby went to um, Cinderella's royal table, where you get to eat in Cinderella's castle. It's really cute wishing star. This is another thing I got when I went to Cinderella's royal table. It's my baby stapler. I basically had this when I would surf. It was basically a really easy way for me to staple stuff together. And it's got cute little Mickeys on it. I need to find some staples for that. 
I've got my little, um, what are these called? My wristband from when I did Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I went multiple times, so I feel like I should have more than one. I completely forgot that I had this, um, but it's basically a little luggage tag that you get given at the start of your program, and it's obviously got it's a little Mickey with a Union Jack on it, and it's just oh, it's the cutest thing. I think I'm going to stop the video there because honestly, I have so much stuff. This video will be going on for a gazillion years, and I'm sure you'll all be bored out of your mind by me showing you various Mickey stickers. I'm going to finish the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next week. Missing someone, missing someone.